Congressman Jim Banks and Kentucky Congressman Andy Barr, both members of the Select Committee on China. Congressman Banks, this was fantastic to force this hearing in prime time. What will come out of this hearing legislation-wise? Well, Laura, it's, it's great to see Democrats finally come to the table and talk about the threat that is China. We talked about a wide array of issues in the committee hearing that just wrapped up moments ago. And it was great to hear Democrats and Republicans question the witnesses and talk about everything from the threat of the Chinese spy balloon and espionage to human rights abuses of the Uyghur uh, slaves in China, uh, the abuse of their own people. So my hope is that this will raise awareness, but also will result in legislation. This week, I introduced a bill to sanction China for fentanyl flowing into our country. They're directly responsible for uh, over 100,000 lives of Americans who have been poisoned by fentanyl that's made in China, that's flooding into this country, and it's long past time to hold them accountable for it. So there were a lot of topics that we covered, but it's my hope that the awareness will lead to action. And in this new House well, Republican to. majority, that's what I expect. Yeah, it has to lead to action. Otherwise, it's just another show hearing that makes everyone feel good. But without legislation coming out of it, it again, it's just going to get forgotten. Now, Congressman Barr, the very important point was raised on the issue of TikTok tonight. Here was Matthew Pottinger again. Bigger coup for the Chinese Communist Party uh, if TikTok is permitted to continue operating in the United States, is that it gives the Chinese Communist Party the ability to manipulate our social discourse. TikTok is already uh, one of the most powerful media companies in American history, and it's still growing. Congressman Barr, what's taken us so long? I mean, Pompeo was on the Ingram angle three plus years ago, saying that every parent should delete TikTok from their kids' phones. That was three years ago. Well, again, Laura, um, just like um, Congressman Banks said, it's, it's nice to see finally Democrats see the threat uh, for what it is. And TikTok is a threat. And uh, kudos to, to Secretary, former Secretary Pompeo for calling it out uh, years ago when uh, Democrats weren't on board. But this is a, an all-encompassing threat. Uh, we have seen uh, for decades now economic aggression from the uh, Chinese Communist Party, whether it's unfair trade practices, the theft of intellectual property, forced transfer of technology, the human rights violations in Xinjiang, uh, the aggressive hostility towards the democracy in Taiwan, the ripping up of an international treaty with Hong Kong. And one of the underappreciated dimensions of uh, the aggression from the CCP against the West is economic warfare. And so this select committee is going to take a very close look, not just at TikTok and some of the unfair trade practices, but also malign investment into the United States by the Chinese Communist Party or entities supported by them, uh, buying up our farmland to threaten our food security or to spy on sensitive sites. And then we're going to look at very seriously Wall Street and outbound capital flows where American investors are unwittingly financing the rise of the Chinese Communist Party, their military surveillance and technology uh, companies. And we need to align our export control regime with our outbound investment. Yeah. If, there is, if there is an export control on a technology that should not be transferred into uh, mainland China. Why not just China, decouple? And we Why should... not? Yeah, but Congressman, this, 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 again, I'm not trying to sound like a doubting uh, Thomas here, but th those are great. But isn't the real answer a Congressman Banks a decoupling from China. President uh, Trump has, has, let me just play something from President Trump because he's launched yes. a just a, 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 an frontal assault against our policy on China. Let's watch. The Biden agenda taxes America to build up China. China is the big beneficiary. I will implement a bold series of reforms to completely eliminate dependence on China in all critical areas will revoke China's most favored nation trade status and adopt a four-year plan to phase out all Chinese imports of essential goods. There goes the decoupling line. Do you agree with President Trump on that? Is that the ultimate goal here? And must that be uh, the ultimate goal? I fully agree with President Trump. He's the only president that we've ever had who's seen China as the threat that they are. He has a strong platform to take them on again. I support his agenda. Congressman, thank you both tonight. We